babies. <laughs> Thanks, Irene. Thank you, Irene. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? You say, hold on, don't record yet. I had a sneeze and I was like right on the cups of it. And then you did, I heard the, this means recorded. Scared right me. on the cups. Yep, right on the cups. How's it going, boys? <clears throat> it's going. How are you? Uh, it's going. I'm good. I don't like when we do back to back shows and then we try to pretend uh, cold open. Um, we should ju- we should have just continued the talk that raised really high um, accidentally, <laughs> and Bill hasn't read the email, which is not surprising. Al- always true. Yeah, always true. And I have a fly. Oh, I just saw that. Really, really annoying. Is there anything more annoying than a rogue fly? Yeah, or right. A mosquito? <laughs> oh, damn it! I knew that was going there. As soon as he started saying, I knew that's where, <laughs> where Bill was going. God damn it! I have yeah. no love. A lingering, I'm on, I'm on a lingering, fire tonight. <laughs> a lingering dumb fuck is generally more annoying than a rogue. But I'm gonna hang myself from sausage links tonight, and you guys are gonna what feel about bad the tomorrow. You all, you'll just eat them to make get your way out of it. <laughs> like Homer, that's a Homer Simpson. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> well, it was a uh, beer fest where he drank it. Where uh, he oh, he, to- oh yeah, landfill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> landfill two. You're way better than landfill one. <laughs> Beer Fest is a very underrated. Oh, movie. I fucking I yeah. love that That's movie. A good movie. Really love good. that movie. You know, their all their movies are good except for like the Slam and Sammy or whatever the fucking Slam and Sammy. One. Yeah, it was all right. Is that though. the second one? No, uh, Club Dread. I never saw that. I didn't like I Club it. Dread. I liked the Slam and Salmon one. Yeah, I liked them up to that one. Even Super Troopers Two was pretty fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. Um, all right. Well, speaking of things we like. Welcome to the Simple Mind Sports Show, Sunday Social Hour, the best Olympic events. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. If you're listening on podcast, uh, also please subscribe, rate, review, share, tell your friends, do your best to help us grow. Uh, this is July 17th, 18th, 18th. 17th. No, you're, tomorrow. Ray, oh, Sunday. Ray, you're high. Sorry, Sunday. Leave the numbers to Bill when going, you're high. We've I was going to. This. I was going Saturday. <laughs> yeah, it's social Sunday. God, you're so stupid. Welcome <laughs> to the show. <laughs> So easy to make laugh. I love it. <laughs> Just laughs at every stupid joke. Yes. The text exchange that we had today, not that this is great radio, but what Bill and I were talking about the Red Sox game. <laughs> oh, you weren't shutting up about going, it. I kept getting alerts. Back, like, going shut back and up. forth, uh, you know, about the game being canceled, about Duran and coming up, the lineup. And then out of nowhere, screenshot. <laughs> hey, guys, game's canceled today. <laughs> no, they're not even playing, guys. Yeah, Jesus Christ, right? No shit. <laughs> falls directly into his fucking place on the show, the bottom of the totem pole of dumb. You know what? I like that you own it, and you come with stupid jerseys every every show. Oop, Apple Watch. Ooh, what's the Apple Watch say? Uh, it was from Bleacher Report. Uh, Suns fans very stressed. Oh, it was probably. I thought it was Kelly yelling at you to shut up. No, take out the trash. Uh. If anyone needs to get on Ray's level, I suggest Back to Basics. Sunday social hours are brought to you by Back to Basics nat- CBD natural products. Bill knows all about them. He does not. He no longer has a shoulder. Uh, he has used some of Dr. Tom's best products to relieve his pain. Bill, just give us a quick uh, remedy update. How is your shoulder and what have you used from Dr. Tom to get through the hard, hard nights? Shoulder's great. It's a little painful now. I ran out of it, so I do got to re-up on my back to basics, but I just do the topical... Uh... Shameless fucking ask from Billy Bedwards yet again. Yeah. Dr. Tom, you're listening. Send me some shit. <laughs> he'll, get it. he'll get it there. That, that's a promise. Whenever, you, whenever Bill has shamelessly asked for anything, Dr. Tom has actually sent it to you, which is amazing that you get through life like that. Uh, shoulder's good, though? Using the topical shit? All right, good for you. <laughs> Shoulder's bad. Uh, wherever you do, whatever you're looking for, you get a free sample with everything you get from Dr. Tom at Back to Basics. Go to backtobasicsllc.com. That's B-A-K, the number two, basicsllc.com for all of your all-natural CBD 
products. Uh, boys, the Olympics are just a couple weeks away. A year delayed that's been now. Actually, this Saturday. Are these the trials or whatever? No, because this weekend's this we're, this recording comes out the seventeenth. Next week the Olympics start. Jesus, it comes this out this week. This week. This week. Sorry, this week. Sorry, the, week, the Olympics start the twenty third. Right. Last last show we talked for a good twenty five minutes, and you looked at whatever was on your screen and said <sighs> nothing. And now you decide to interrupt me with just continuous dumb shit. Okay. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> okay, sure. The Olympics start this week. Um, anyway, let, let's. I, I, I want to dive in and talk about the best events coming up in the Summer Olympics uh, 2021. The disaster that is Tokyo. No fans, no condoms. Let's dive in. Um, Ooh, Dr. bear back. Raw dog. Back, uh, Dr. Big Mac, you are generally in charge of Sunday social hours. They generally go terribly wrong. I would like you to, this is going to be a roundtable discussion one by one. We'll, we'll each give you our, our uh, pick for best event. Uh, we'll give you the reasons why. We'll move around table and then we'll rank them at the end. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, who starts? Uh, we're going to go with Bill first tonight. Ooh. So my favorite event, women's beach volleyball. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> is hold on is beach volleyball an olympic sport this year yep. i think the is it i think they yep. got rid of it no nope it's oh. in there this is how this show is gonna go uh, <laughs> <laughs> i mean women playing volleyball skimpy bikinis from some of the hottest places on earth on earth oh god i'll watch that any day any day of the week tan bodies the Shorts going out of the bandits who go right up their butt cracks, making a nice Brazilian cut. Oh, yeah. I'll DVR it. Uh, is anyone into the men's? No. Like the like Top Gun style? No. No. Really? I know one of, I know one of our listeners would be, but I'm not. <laughs> I kind of like it. Uh, I, I like the women, too. I like, the, I like most women Olympic sports because I think it's a little bit more intriguing. It's a little bit like more – um except for just... women's tennis i hate the moaning every time they hit the ball oh who are you a fucking Wimbledon? He, no when he was a young boy he used to hear his mother moan the other room so it just hurts his ears when he sees that on tennis <laughs> <laughs> good one right <laughs> god damn it i hate you both tonight this is the most natural bad cup, bad cup. We don't even have to try. <laughs> How do you see the phones going? Do you guys text each other on that? No. Nope. <laughs> well done. It's straight up not funny. Uh, beach volleyball is awesome. Okay, getting past the skippy bikinis, uh, good looking girls uh, and men and everything else. It's a fu- it's a cool sport. I in I, USA I, dominate. That, their, they women, their women's team oh, yeah. weren't they like 50 and oh at some point they're yeah disgusting. and they're fucking crazy they like they which one know. did you like is it kerry something there was is a it... blonde and a brunette the blonde was taller than the brunette <laughs> the younger one the brunette yep. yeah her because the uh, other one Kerry was like walsh. 45 Kerry, i knew Kerry, it Kerry walsh. Look, oh i'm better than i thought it. Kerry walsh fails to qualify for tokyo olympics damn it uh, one of the most successful American Olympics of all time will not be going to Tokyo. So we'll have to pay attention to who's out there. Misty May. That sounds like a. She's uh, been there before, right? Star. I she, think they were. They were retired. teammates. They were teammates. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They like, I think they lost once. Legitimately, they lost once. Yeah. God, there's bodies on them. Just so it's tight. And, so tight and fit. Oof. I do enjoy the game, though. Do you not enjoy the game? Like the deep. Oh, I digs? do. I do. I like. Oh, yeah. I like that two-person volleyball shit. I, I think it's cool as hell. I yeah. like it better than the uh, the full the full team sport. Really? I do yeah. too. Yeah. It's more action. If you're on a team sport, you just stand around, and fucking. Oh, hit me the ball. Well, yeah, they have those ball. like There's fake more jumpers volley. and shit now too. I don't know if you see. I don't know if you watch it, but they have, like fake jumpers to like fake people out. Guess yeah, me. I've seen it, but it's like they're, it's so big like there's there's such big action there's not a lot of good volume like yeah true you kind of just it's kind of set spike if you get a if you get a bad spike then you get to set it and spike it like in beach volleyball you just kind of save it and if you there's not as many opportunities to spike it so you get more you get more more strategic and it's more fun beach volleyball is always more fun oh yeah 
Especially in denim know, jeans. Everyone knows, even <laughs> backyard volleyball. Like you want to play, you've got some like quasi 30 year old bad athletes out there that kind of know what they're doing. And then some idiots that have never been taught. They never got the Fulton rules, not to punch the fucking thing. And they want to play volleyball with you. And all of a sudden it's six on seven. And you got a bunch of scrubs out there and you can't even fucking get a rally going. It's the most frustrating goddamn thing at a barbecue in the world. This is why I drink. Uh, who's up? You. Uh, you. Ah, okay. Uh, b- best events at the Olympics. I'm going to save an obvious one that I think I'll leave it for Bill, who hasn't done any research. And I'm going to go a little bit obscure here. And I'm going to save my favorite for last. And if any of you take it, I will, um, I will kill you. Uh, I'm going to start with this one. This is what it's properly called in the Olympics. Some refer to it as something else. Table tennis. Ooh. Table tennis. I'm Chinese, one. man. Koreans. It's Koreans, Chinese. Force Gump fought the, the Chinese. Dude, there's a guy at work that fucking plays that every day at lunch religiously. Old, old, old uh, no, the table tennis. Oh, really? Dude, some of those videos are insane. They're insane. The matches themselves, um, they also get insane. Like, I, I the Olympic ones, it'll suck because there's no fans. But like when there's fans in the crowds, those guys get intense. Like they're ab- they're wild- <laughs> wildly fucking intense. And the rallies that go with big hammer shots, like they're 10 diving. feet from the fucking table. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, the thing curves too. Like, yeah. It's, it's crazy. It's awesome. And it's super relatable because everyone's played a game of ping pong in their life. They know, you know, you know, you understand what it takes to get the fucking ball over there and return a serve. And like to do what they're doing. It's just fun to watch. And those guys are insane. It's not a sport that the uh, Americans dominate. That is purely. Because everybody that plays so ping pong around here gets drunk while they're doing it. No one plays that shit sober. No, if you play without a beer in your hand, you're an asshole. You're a total dick. <laughs> Ray's writing down, don't play ping pong without a beer when I'm around <laughs> Bill and Ray. <laughs> All right, I'm up. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Go ahead, the obvious one. This is where the obvious one came from, by the way. This, <laughs> no, it's on, it's on these, yeah. these type of shows. I mean, we're going to start with the obvious one. No, I'm not starting with any obvious one. Never the obvious one. There, I don't think there is an obvious one here, so you're safe. All right, so this one always catches my attention. It'll be like on C-SPAN or whatever, you know, one of the one of those channels. But uh, Team Handball. I don't know the rules. <laughs> I took mine. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know the rules. I just know that they just throw the ball. And if it's like playing soccer with hands, it goes a lot faster. There's a lot more scoring. It just grabs my attention every time it's on. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. I like team match. handball. I wanted it to be worse. I, I wanted it to be something totally terrible. Uh, we, I, I played it in uh, gym. I played it yeah, in. I remember that long John's class. Yeah. 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 It was fun. It was a lot yeah. of fun. And I don't remember guys, the rules at all, but I know you can't be so close. And there's like a, it's kind of like ultimate Frisbee with a ball and a goal goalie. and a goalie. So like you get the ball, you can't make, take more, like more than a couple steps and you can't move to throw the ball. Yeah. You can pass it. I don't know if there's like offsides and all that shit. And then you just throw it as hard as you possibly can at the goalie. And I remember gym class. We just whip it at the goalie as hard as we <laughs> Tanya Doobie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. This is going to hurt. Uh, team handball. Yeah, that's a good one. It's not one you find on very often. You're right. You have to like, find yep, the obscure like the, channels yeah. that are playing it. The stupid shit that would normally be looking at the Senate floor is covering team handball yeah. at 1 o'clock in the morning. That's for the insomniacs that don't have <clears throat> back-to-basics uh, natural hemp products to help them sleep. That's true. Am I going back-to-back here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll never be the same back-to-back. Nope. nope. Uh, synchronized diving. That the way that you can go off a diving board, do flip. And shit. <laughs> okay, Greg Uganis. No, but no, no, no. This is like the high dive shit. Wasn't he a high diver? No, I think he was like the diving board. He, oh, he he didn't, I, I didn't even know there was a difference. Well, now you know. Go ahead. High diving's good. Yeah. No, 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 not the synchronized diving. Why don't you go high dive into his asshole? <laughs> if you can make two people do flips and shit and come into the water at the same time, it's just the most amazing thing. I can watch that all fucking day. Oh, okay. Hold on. No, I just got it. The synchronized. Oh, this is stupid. You got to go high diving there. You have yeah, synchronized, to high... synchronized high diving. Synchronized. This is, is the a dumb part. Just no a regular, way. just a regular high diving. 
regular high dive and now you're doing it side by side mirroring each other that's not better uh it is it's definitely more difficult but there's something about just and like, they fuck up more on that you see like big time like ouchies like fucking back splashes in front like uh, i don't think it has the flop. pedigree is just like the it's just like the solo big dive though oh don't they go higher on the solo high dive of course they do no, yeah. they go the same diving's height. Fu- they go the diving's same height. fucking stupid, dude. What a dumb pick. Yeah, whatever. I like synchronized diving. Cross that off the list. <laughs> um. Okay, who's up? You. I'm up? Okay. Yep. Um. All right, I'm going to go with mine that is probably the most popular in America, generally. Gymnastics. Oh, yeah. Carrie, whatever her name was, in the 96 Olympics. What was the fuck was Walsh. her name? No, uh, that broke her ankle and did the vault. Paterno? No. Uh, did you say Paterno? Laterno? No. And then was carried by like the Russian Ooh. coach off the off the mat. The U.S. Will... coach. Yeah, but he was Russian, or uh, uh, he was yeah. he like defected, and that was, it was a big scandal. Like he was he he coached all the Russian girls from like two years old. And they were steroid juice, and then he defected, I think, and then came to the United States. Romania won gold. Carrie Laura. Strug. Carrie Strug. Uh, Carrie Strug. Yeah. I will never in my life forget watching that live. My parents had whatever, eight years old or whatever. And, uh, and the U S dominate the sport. I hate the floor routine. I like the bars that the men do. Uh, like oh, the, so you're going the, the whole event. You're not going to just take one singular event. Like you could watch the whole thing. What I'll the do fuck do you think gymnastics is right? <laughs> it's all of that shit. Well, the yeah, floor everyone... routine I feel is like something different because no, like, no, no. You... You compete in all of the events I know you in gymnastics. Do. I know, I know. But it's I'm just one saying. sport. God, you're just, you're just. It's all right. We can't keep piling on it anymore. It's just, it's just gets redundant. Just... I like, there's my favorite. The rings, the, the dudes that do the rings. I don't really care about the anything else the dudes do, but those, the rings are fucking hard. That yeah. is like ridiculously hard. And then the women on the, that do the flips on the, on the bars, the high bar and the parallel bar, bars, the parallel bars. There you go, Ray. Way to, way to pitch in. Um, that and the vault's pretty good. Those what about are the, the best. horse. What about the horse? Uh, the horse is kind of boring. Oh, that's What's the uh, horse is when they you, launch off that thing. No, it's got, the horse no, it's is like, it's the, like a saddle kind of thing, and they go in like two rings, and, and they, they go on like there, and they just fucking flop, flop around like a fish. Yeah, I, that one's kind of boring to me. The uh, <laughs> I had so many jokes. <laughs> <laughs> the balance bar is good too, though. I like the balance bar. Women's the women's balance bar. They do some flips and shit. It's crazy. That shit's insane. Yeah. That shit's insane. Can we just can we all actually just agree that most of these Olympic sports, even like high diving, which was a dumb one, the shit that they do is way more talented than the popular sports in the world. Way yeah. more. Like way more difficult. Way more talented. Yeah, I agree. Okay, it's just not as fun to watch sometimes. Okay, um, Bill, hundred meter dash. <laughs> I like it. I mean, it's one of the most you see uh, Bolt was fucking awesome. Showboat when he's breaking all the Olympic records, world records. Dude, I think Michael it's Johnson, cool. cool as hell. Michael it? Johnson in the early 90s, what, 96? Yeah. You know, what, who's that woman that got busted in Balco? Jones? No. Oh, uh, Leslie? Leslie? Uh, no. no Marion Marion Jones? Marianne. Yeah, I think so. She was for the women. I mean, I think it's cool as hell. And it's, it's one of their most popular events. Track and field blows hmm. That's i just I, like that because it's no more than 10 seconds i don't have to watch you run fucking 12 miles it's like cycling i don't give a shit about you guys but that that quick little short dash 100 meters boom cool as hell uh i'm not a fan of uh of watching people run it's it's basically just soccer without the ball i don't like it it's the oldest of sports that goes back to athens in the first ever olympic games that's probably why it gets all of the uh hubbub um, and you know, fastest man alive type of thing is kind of cool to hold that. It's fastest kid alive. Don't worry, it's just beer. It's just I've always, beer. I just have always thought the running is fucking boring. There's much more. There's, there are much more interesting track and field events to me um, than the running. So let's see what else you got, Bill. Oh, I th- <laughs> actually I think a new one that I actually no no I got one more. I think an actual one that I'm. It's a new Olympic sport this year: skateboarding. Mm. I think that's cool. I love that that uh, X Games. You know, you're kind of bringing the X Games. You see the snowboarding now in the Winter Olympics and shit. So you're kind of bringing that extreme sports side to it. And I, I think that was cool. It's how growing up Tony Hawk, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, all that shit. It was your so popular. Jeans, your yeah, dude, it's shoes. so popular. And I still, dude, some of the tricks they pull on the half pipe and all that shit are fucking incredible. 
do we know what they're doing for what the Olympics are uh, like, what the rules are and what the point system is for skateboard? Are they taking the X games? Uh, I'm, I'm sure they tweak it their own. Uh, they tweak it their own way, way, but yeah, it, I, I'm assuming it's probably going to be something judges like, of some sort. Yeah. Something like snowboarding, how they just judge it. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Skate. I mean, yeah. Skateboarding is cool. Uh, the, yeah, the big are they? Do they gotta do the big half pipe like the big ramp half pipe stuff too? I think like so. Big, yeah. What do they call it? Big air? Is that no, still I don't thing? think they're doing big. Not the big. I think they're, they're, just, doing doing a, they're just a normal half pipe. I think. Or the half like pipe, a, yeah, yeah. Not a big one, and I think they're doing like a street, like the street course of shit. So there'll be all like that Rob stuff. Gear deck league that he had, kind of thing, where you just have like yeah. a little fake street course. Yeah. God, I, there... I, can't, I can't stand. Speak. I can't stand Rob Deer deck now. Ugh. He was funny on Robin Big, but yeah, he's kind of yeah. Then he, the, dude, he's on his stupid show. Literally plays on MTV from morning, noon, and night. I swear to God, it's the only show they play. No, they have Jersey Shore on yeah, Thursdays. Do we know any of the skateboarders? From no. is there any chance that America does not get gold? Yeah, because I think Japan has like a yeah, Japan. Ball. Japan's pretty big in it. Really? Is yeah. Canada like another like who are the big Canada? Guys? There's some good Can- uh, Canadian skaters. Yeah, I mean there it's. I could tell I'm, you names, but I just know from like watching like the shows and shit. Like Japan has some like. Oh, I mean Brazil all the, too. Isn't Brazil? Brazil, like, all, yeah, a lot, all a lot of those skaters that I know, I I don't think they're all on the team. I think it's more amateurs. I don't. I honestly don't. It's know. It's like but, a younger generation that we probably don't even know any of these guys. I mean the Shecklers of the world, and then the Nia Jones or whatever his name is. He's you know I don't think any of those guys are in there. Um, okay. Am I up? Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm just looking at the newer sports that I was reading earlier today. I don't think I'm going to put any in, in the, in the best yet. There's one. I'll just tell you, cause I don't think you have it. Surfing. Cool. That's it. That's kind of boring to watch. No, that's not your pick. It's not my pick. Okay. I'm sorry. It's, a, it's one of the five new ones this year. Oh, Do you want okay. me to give you the five new ones? Skateboarding, surfing. Break dancing. Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. I don't think it's break dancing. I have it right here. I haven't seen break dancing yet, but that's pretty fucking or maybe, funny. I swear to God, it's it's is judo. Judo it's one of them. Karate. Karate is new. Karate. Uh sport climbing. Do no, I have... think it's no, I think judo's the new one. Karate's been there. Um, it's right in front of me. Okay. Judo's like the MMA that they're doing now. Uh, it says karate. All right, whatever. Right here, and then baseball slash softball. Mm-hmm. They're considering new. Twenty twenty four break dancing is going to be an Olympic sport. <laughs> oh, fucking, <laughs> well, there you go. Billy wow. in the future. Bill, future Bill coming at you. Uh, out of the out of those five, um, surfing is probably the no skateboarding is the coolest. Surfing has a cool thing, but like it's kind of boring to watch. Surf, you just kind of go in and out. There's not a lot of there's not a lot of shit you can do. Anyway, sorry to get off topic. Let me give you my let me give you the best one. Uh, I think this lands on a lot of people's lists. Swimming. Yep. Michael Phelps, greatest U.S. Olympian ever until this year. I think Simone Biles is going to pass him. But um, yeah, all of the swimming, hundred meter, all of it. It's all. He was just so awesome. Exciting. He was so awesome to watch because you knew he was going to win every single time. So it's like you know. All right, what records are you going to break? And not just win, dominate, dominate, dominate. dominate. And that, that was actually a perfect like Olympic. He's like a dolphin. Because you had, yeah, and he's, yeah, he's just weirdly shaped. You had uh, the dominance of Michael Phelps, and then there's like the tomfoolery of Ryan Lochte going right along with it. So it wasn't too boring with the winning. You also had Ryan Lochte. Oh, but he like still 10. won like 10 or 12 medals. He came in too. second, like most of the, he got a lot of silvers. Like they crushed it. But he's just such a buffoon. It was fucking awesome. What was his catchphrase, too, that he started saying? I forget. It was something wicked annoying. <laughs> Probably was wicked it, annoying. Was it cheer? Cheer. It was cheer. Is that it? Yeah, when you you say yes, you'd say cheer. That's uh, what it sounds. Yeah, that's dumb. You can't be trusted. Are we on the show? We, or what's our most hated now? Is that where we're at? No, Bill. Uh, that was oh. my third. So, oh, so we're each doing three. This is Ray's. This is mine. All right. This is your last one. This is the last one. Yep. Uh, rugby. I love well, watching I, rugby. I like rugby a lot and when too. it's for like, uh, I mean, these guys will go out there for like a whatever, a beer, and beat the shit out of each other. Now you're going for a gold medal for your country. 
the way they play, I could watch every rugby match in the Olympics. Uh, that's a real man sport, man. That's yeah, a real man sport. No fucking pads, just go out there and fucking hit. And some of these uh, guys are pretty good. Like South uh New, New Zealand's one New of the Zealand, best teams. South, South, Africa, of, South Africa. Yeah, Australia. Uh, Australia, yeah. And then the Fiji Islands too, right? I believe it was yeah, up there. All them yeah, all the Samoans up there. The Kiwis. Yeah. The Kiwis, yes. I think it's cool, like all the fucking weird dances like New Zealand does before the games and shit. I think that shit's all cool as hell. I, I like watching rugby. Yeah. And a lot of the rugby sevens, I remember watching that at the Wild That's Rover so at like fast, yeah. 8, 8 a.m. getting hammered. Yeah. Watching rugby all fucking day, man. I, I, I think it's cool as hell. Yeah. I haven't watched a lot of Olympic rugby. I'll watch it this year. Um, okay. The worst. We're going to do the worst. It's like yeah. diving, obviously. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, my the worst was break dancing for me. So now I got to go. So can I do future Olympic sports break dancing? Fine, fine. Break future Olympic sports break dancing. Um, I had a couple on my list. Ray, are you going to double? Are you going to double down with the synchronized diving? No, I love synchronized diving. <laughs> okay, go ahead. What's so yours? I have two. So rhythmic dancing. The one with the baton that they fucking oh, yeah, go around. That sucks. Oh, that's the oh, worst. That's so stupid. That's my. That's the worst. Can what's I? Your, can I give what's you your the second one? Can I give you the aquatic fencing. version? Ooh, ah. I had fencing too, Ray. Fencing. That's fencing just. I, I don't understand the sport. It's like just let them fucking go house and play fucking medieval swords if you want. This that's why fencing hurts. blows. Because... My brother met his wife fencing in college. <laughs> fucking dorks. <laughs> <laughs> Do they still uh, fence? I'm sure they do. Fucking <laughs> dorks. Wow, that is some dorky shit. Uh, can I give you the, the aquatic version of rhythmic dancing? Artistic yes. swimming? Oh, I was going to say water polo. That's fucking hard. I would like watching water polo. I don't like watching it because it's not it's just a lot of splashing. I don't really ever know what's going on. But, but yeah, the way it's they, very can, hard. they can they they could swim and keep a flow and fucking throw a ball, I'd drown. You just tread water for you're fat. six minutes. I need sink. a life vest. You sink like a dead whale, fat <laughs> fuck. <laughs> you buried my fucking dick. Artistic swimming blows. That's a dumb sport. It shouldn't be there. It sucks. Bill? Um, oh, man. Now I got to really think of a shitty Olympic sport. Men's basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Men's basketball does kind of blow. But it, it doesn't belong in the world. I actually do like the Olympic game, though, because they, they let them play, and it's not like they right. breathe give, on files. Give us another one, Bill. Oh, God. I'm trying to Cycling. Think. Oh, cycling. Yes. That's a terrible one. Why you help them? Because, yeah. I'm well, running, I legitimately thought break, break dancing was an Olympic sport this year. I legitimately thought. I didn't realize it was three years look, from now. I'm looking there's at a, it right now. There's a bunch of new ones in 2024, I think. Roller speed oh, skating? Wrestling. Oh, fuck you. That's mine. Wrestling. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of interest in watching wrestling. Uh, hey, Greco-Roman wrestling? Fuck off. Wow. Oh, I'm over that stupid shit. Right, who was the uh, WWF guy that was Kurt there? Angle. Yeah, there you go. He broke his freaking neck. <laughs> oh, there's beach handball. What? Wow, that needs to be somewhere on the list. They need to bring cornhole into the Olympics. That would be something. Um, Base- baseball's back, though. Yeah. <laughs> baseball slash softball. Are the gummies Name kicking one, in, Bill? Name one starter on the U.S. Be- men's baseball team. Uh, Cashish is playing from the Red Sox. Mm-hmm. I haven't looked at the whole roster yet. Jared Kel- uh, not Jared Kelnick, because he just got called up. Uh, Julio Rodriguez from uh, Seattle's on there. Uh, there's a couple other good. Good, good process. Suck it, Ray. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Shall we rank? Yes. I don't remember what we said. You're oh, ready. mine was swimming and gymnastics, which are pretty popular sports. And you had table tennis. And I had table tennis. All right, so let me go through the list. I had handball, synchronized diving, and rugby. <laughs> Rich had table tennis, gymnastics, and swimming. And Bill had uh, women's beach volleyball, 100-meter mm-hmm. dash, and skateboarding. Um, okay. Which way do you want to go? Nine to one or one to nine? Oh, wow. Always go <laughs> nine to one. 
How about we go 69 on your mother? Ooh, nine to one uh, synchronized diving can be 10. Okay. So that's <laughs> that's number nine. Oh, God, that's the worst. You're a fucking idiot. Um, what were Bill's? Uh, skateboarding. Women's beach, women's beach volleyball, 100-meter dash, and skateboarding. Oh, 100-meter dash blows. Nope, I'll go table tennis as a number eight. Fuck you. Bill? But that's fine. It's not your traditional Olympic game. Yeah, table tennis. Okay. Wait, what were yours, Ray? Uh, so I only have handball and rugby left. Handball. <laughs> mm, yeah, handball. Really? All right. I would have chose yeah. rugby there, but all right. Now you can put rugby. <laughs> I put right. skate. I put skateboarding there. Oh yeah, skateboarding. Yeah, skateboarding doesn't... go there. I like rugby better than skateboarding, just because it's cool as hell. And remember, we used to play at a gym gym class. Yeah, I flipped Ryan Sullivan and Daniel. Oh, you got to fight. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Well, I tell grabbed... us more stuff that no one gives a shit about. Uh, mm-hmm. Who's next? Uh, so left. So we're at number five. Left is rugby, gymnastics, swimming, women's beach volleyball, and hundred meter dash. It's either rugby or hundred meter. I'll go rugby then. Yeah, I might have been a little hard on hundred meter. It's yeah. popular. I mean, it's very, very popular. I'd go uh, swimming at number four. Over what? What's left? Gymnastics, women's beach volleyball, and hundred meter dash. Hundred meter and then swimming. And then gymnastics. Wait, there should be four. No, isn't it swimming, gymnastics, hundred meter, and women's beach volleyball? Yeah. Yeah, there's only four left. So 100, 100 meters should go four. 100 meters, four. Okay. S- swimming, maybe three. Yep. Beach volleyball, two. Gymnastics, gymnastics one. one. Ooh, I'd go, I'd go one beach, girls beach volleyball. It's not as, it's not as, no. It's better to look at, though, but there, USA has got some. What, what are you going with, Bill? You're the tiebreaker. Ooh, I mean. I threw out beach volleyball number one, but g- gymnastics is more popular. So I'll go gymnastics. I don't like this thing that you have that makes Bill agree to everything that you say. It kind of bothers me at times. Well, it's because I'm right. Beach volleyball is great, and the tantalization is amazing. On the, It's great because we just want to look at half-naked chicks playing sports. And it's a good sport, uh, but gymnastics is one of the most difficult things to do in the athletic world. And you do it on the world stage. Yeah. And Simone Biles is 23. So you can Google at her. Well, most of them are like 16. So you kind of have to shy yourself away. Do you know who I fell in love with in 96? So I was 11 years old and she was older, obviously. Mm-hmm. Dominique Mucciano. I remember Dominique. Oh, man, did I have a fucking crush on her. Yep. Yep. Um, that's a good list, boys. Okay. Uh, bottom of the totem pole of dumb, Pam Aaron Ray. Uh, the obvious one. Give us uh, starting at nine, aka ten, moving all the way up to one. Give us your, uh, give us our Simple Mind Sports Show best Olympic events. At number nine, we have synchronized diving. Number eight, table tennis. Number seven, handball. Number six, skateboarding. Number five, rugby. Number four, hundred meter dash. Number three, swimming. Uh, number two, women's beach volleyball. And at number one, gymnastics. Yay. Okay. And now real quick, what are the worst ones that we have? Uh, I chose rhythmic dancing. Uh, Rich chose artistic swimming and Bill chose wrestling. Oh, but we put fencing on there. No, uh, fencing was an honorable mention. Okay. And break uh, dancing in the future. <laughs> Wait, what, was in what, was, what was Bill's? What uh, was Bill's? Wrestling. Future? Wrestling. Uh, wrestling. Uh, the number one is rhythmic is rhythmic dancing. That it's gotta is be. stupid. That it's not a sport. It's dumb. Um, I Will, think, Will I Ferrell think, in old school though. <laughs> pretty classic. Oh, yeah. After his body was lit on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I think artistic swimming is basically the same thing, just in water. Yeah. I would even give you a a, a a dash slash artistic swimming and one A one B. Yeah, fencing has got to be in there. That Three. sport blows. And then wrestling. You just did that for spite, Bill. No, I think it's a stupid Olympic sport. Nobody watches it. Wrestling doesn't belong on the list. It's too old. It's too classic. It's the original sport. To the well, running is. Wait, oh, yeah, sure. and then wrestling. Re- then wrestling. Uh, okay, good list, boys. That was fun. The Olympics start this week, I guess, according to Ray. 
Uh, so tune in. They will be 12 ish hours behind or ahead. Ahead. They'll be 12 ish hours ahead. So you can watch it around mid. That's actually not bad. It's actually like prime eight in the morning. Like their prime time events at eight at night. It'll be eight in the morning for us. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's no, good. it's great. It's good. You can it's fucking like make day- breakfast and watch some fucking sports. Daytime TV. Yeah. Let, that, let that thing roll. And then obviously we'll, we'll get it prime time on the replay. So uh, the Olympics are here. It's going to be a shit show. Tokyo. This has been the Simple Mind Sports Show. Simple, uh, so, uh, so, what is it? Sunday, Sunday Social. social. <laughs> Simple Mind Sports Show. Sunday Social Hour. The greatest Olympic events. This wine's almost gone. Uh, July... 18th. 18th. See you on Monday. Bye. I was built the only smart one on this show right now. I'm not drinking. Bye bye. Bye. Not drinking. Right. I, I just I watched myself drink out of the bottle while Ray was doing the list. I di- I swear to God I didn't need to drink out of the bottle. It was just muscle memory. I thought you were just trying to be trashy. No, I meant to pour it in my glass and I got distracted. Then I just drank it anyway. <laughs>